Okay, to knit this little hat, I'll be using these five millimeter circular knitting needles. I'm going to knit this little hat in the round. Now, I already have a tutorial in my channel where I knit the same little hat, but in rows. Down here in the information box, I'll go ahead and leave the link. Or if you click the little lamb next to my channel name, it'll take you to my channel. You'll find the tutorial there. Now, the yarn that I'm using is going to be this one here. It's called Fair Isle Angel. This is a medium number four yarn. So you can also use 10 ply or Aran weight yarn to knit this little hat. Now, like I said, we're going to knit this little hat in the round and I'm going to make the zero to three month size. Now, if you want to make it from a newborn baby up to 24 months, these are the number of stitches that you need to do and these are the number of rows. The part where we're going to start to decrease, it's the same for all of the hats. Now, for the number of rows, that's going to depend all on you if you want to make it shorter or longer. This is just an approximate number of rows based on my gauge. This is all using five millimeter kneading needles and number four yarn. Now, since we're going to knit this little hat in the round, we need to cast on our stitches. For zero to three months, I need to cast on 56 stitches. So to do this, I'm going to hold both needles like this and we're going to wrap the yarn around, I don't know, 20 times. I'm going to show you how to cast on your stitches using the long tail cast on. So wrap your yarn around both needles 20 times. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now let's remove the yarn here. We have enough yarn here for about 20 stitches. We're going to double it up again. We have enough for about 40. Double it up again. We have for about 60 stitches. I'm going to leave it like this. Just add a tiny bit more like this. It's best to have more than have to redo this again. So there, make a slip knot. Now insert both needles here. Now I'm using 32 inch long circular kneading needles. I forgot to mention that at the beginning. Now this here is coming from the yarn that we just measured and this here is coming from the skein. Now insert your finger like this, open the yarn and we're going to go from left to right and we're going to grab a loop like this. See, that's two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on until you have a total of 56 stitches or however many stitches you need for the size that you're making. We're making the zero to three month size, so I need 56 stitches. So continue, I'll finish casting on my stitches and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I finished casting on my stitches. I have 56 for the size that I'm making. Now we're going to add an extra stitch and this is for all sizes. So add one extra stitch and you'll see why. Now carefully pull one of the needles, make sure that you don't lose your stitches. And now what we're going to do here is we're going to divide these stitches here in half. Since we're going to knit this hat in the round using the magic loop technique, we're going to divide our stitches in half. Now you can use shorter knitting needles. If you prefer to do this, you can. I'm just going to do it this way using the magic loop technique. So we don't have to be precise. If you do, then you can just count your stitches. Um, I'm just going to eyeball it. So like this. Now push your cable. And now you have both needles here. Now that extra stitch that we just did here at the end, what I'm going to do here is, here's the first stitch that I cast on and here's the last stitch that I cast on. Now we're going to bring our last stitch to this needle, to the needle in the back, like this. Now bring the last stitch that we cast on over this stitch. That. drop it let it go like this now bring back this stitch to the first needle here now pull the yarn this yarn here so that this last stitch here closes and that way we are joined in the round see like that and you will see 
that were joined. So that last stitch that we cast on, it's so that we can do this, so that we can join in the round. And now I have my original 56 stitches. Now don't do what I did, don't lose your stitches. There. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start to knit. We're going to pull the needle from the back. Don't pull it all away. Make sure that your working yarn is always in front of the back needle. There. Now we're going to start knitting. And the way that we start to knit is just by starting with the first stitch. Now we're going to knit two, then purl two, knit two, purl two. That's the pattern here. So knit the first stitch, knit the second stitch. Now we're going to purl two. Again, knit two, purl two. Knit two, purl two. And that's all we're going to do all the way to the end of this first row. Here, I want to show you what you need to do once we finish these stitches here so that we can do the stitches here in the back. So purl two now, knit two, Now, if you notice, I only have one stitch here left, so I'm going to pull the needle so that that stitch here now goes to the back. There. Now, we finish these stitches. We're going to turn now. Push your cable. Now make sure the working yarn is always in front of this needle here in the back. Now pull the needle from the back and we're going to start with the same thing. These last two stitches here I purled, so now I'm going to begin with two knits and then again two purls. So knit two, purl two, all the way to the end of this first row. Now your last two stitches, they have to be two purls because we start with two knits. So end with two purls. If for some reason you end with two knits, then somewhere along here you have messed up and you need to go back and double check. Now drop that needle, turn, push your cable. And now we're going to start with the second row and we're going to do the same thing we did in the first row. Pull the needle from the back. These first two stitches we knit in the first row. In this second row, we're going to do the same thing. Knit two and then purl two. Knit two, purl two and so on. This is how we're going to continue with the second row. I want to show you once again what you need to do once you finish all of these stitches on this needle. And that way you can work the stitches in the back, these here. And here are my last two stitches. We purl, drop that needle, turn, 
push your cable, grab the needle from the back, and start again. Two knits, two purls, all the way to the end of this second row. Continue, I'll meet you at the end of this second row to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of the second row. Here are my last two stitches here. I'm going to purl two. Now drop that needle, turn, push your cable, pull the needle from the back, and start again with the third row. And this is all we're going to do for a total of 42 rows for the zero to three month size. So here I did this other little hat. This is for the three to six month size. I did a total of 48 rows and then we did the decreasing rows here at the top. And that's what it looks like. So this is what we're going to do now. We're just going to continue uh, in rows and knit two, purl two, all the way around. So here I knit one and then that's two and then purl two. And that's all I'm going to do. So I already showed you how to do this part here. Now you're just going to continue and do the same thing on your own. Knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two, all around. Now I'm going to do this for a total of 42 rows, like I said, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making 42 rows here for my little hat. Now, if you want to make it longer, you can. I'm just going to do 42 rows here. Um, so I'm going to now start to reduce. So to reduce here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, let's see, this is going to be the first row of reduction. Now, the reduction part here is the same for all sizes. So all you're going to do here is we have two knits, two purls, two knits, two purls. So you're just going to knit two together and then purl two. So the purl stitches remain the same. Again, knit two together and purl two. Again, knit two together and purl two. That's how I'm going to continue all around for this first row reduction. Continue, I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. I finished making this first row reduction. I have a total of 42 stitches at the end of this row. Now for the second row, in this second row, we're not going to reduce. All we're going to do is just knit one and purl two. Knit one, purl two. That's all. Continue like this all around. I'll meet you at the end of this second row. I finished the second row. In this row, all I did was just knit one and purl two. I have 42 stitches at the end of this second row as well. Now for the third row, we're going to knit one. And in this row, we are going to purl two together. So purl two together, knit one, purl two together. knit one, purl two together. This is all we're going to do for this third row. Knit one, purl two together. Continue like this. I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. I finished the third row. In this row, I did a knit one and then purl two. At the end of this third row, I have 28 stitches. Now for the fourth row, we're just going to knit one and knit one. So the stitch that was a purl, now we're going to knit in this row. So knit. Continue like this for this fourth row. At the end of this fourth row, you're going to also have 28 stitches. And all you're doing is just knit across. Continue, I'll meet you at the end of this fourth row. I finished this fourth row. At the end of the fourth row, I have 28 stitches. In this row, I just knit across. Now, for the fifth row, this is what we're going to do. We're going to knit two together across. So, knit two together. These first two, and then knit two together. knit two together and knit 
two together. At the end of this row, we're going to have 14 stitches. So continue like this. I will meet you at the end of this fifth row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making the fifth row. In this fifth row, we knit two together across. I have 14 stitches at the end of this row. Now, if you want to make one more row where you just knit all around and make this part here a bit uh, longer than you can, I'm just going to leave it like this. I've already cut my yarn, so I'm just going to remove these stitches. So with the help of this yarn needle, we're just going to go all around. So here's my last stitch here on the side. So we're going to remove these stitches here off this needle first. Turn this and remove these stitches here. Don't let go of this loop here. Pull and then insert your needle through here. That's going to create a small knot. Now insert your needle through the center there. And you're just going to weave this all around. And then I'm just going to tie a knot and then cut my yarn. So remember the reduction part is the same for all sizes. This is what it looks like here at the top. There it is. So the little hat is all done. And that's what it looks like. Now you can fold it. And let me sh show you how it looks on one of my little models. Okay, so here's my zero to three month size baby doll. Let's try it on her. Oh, perfect. There it is. I think it's super cute. You want to make this part here shorter then don't make too many rows maybe do three four rows less and this is going to be less wide and here's the top of the the head now i already did this one is three to six months so let me show you that on another model that's the three to six month size for three to six month size you do 64 stitches and you do 48 rows plus the five, six rows that we do here a reduction. So you can make this little hat up to 24 months using the measurements that I give you and the stitch count. So there it is. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.